Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm out for a uh, small little adventure, nothing too drastic. I just want to get the boat in the water, uh, see how my canoe setup works, and make sure everything's going to go okay when I get out there later on this month. So uh, behind me is one of my local lakes and uh, pulled up here. I got my canoe back there tied down. I got to get that into the water and then we'll be taking it out and seeing how well it performs. I have some fishing gear with me, but uh, I probably won't put everything in the boat. Uh, I just want to bring what I would normally bring if I was camping. I even have my camping gear to load up the canoe with, uh, just to make sure everything's going to go well. So let's get this boat in the water and see how it goes. All right, first thing I wanted to check, make sure that this actually floated pretty good. Give it a couple presses there. Floating pretty good, so happy with that. Plop that in here. There we are. Just gotta add that. My poles. Get my stuff on. Life jacket and heading out that way through the channel out to the main lake. I'm in. First time on the water on this thing. Let's see what we can figure out here. Feeling stable. Feeling good. Pegs are nowhere near me. I should have had that figured out. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, okay. Got these little levers down here. See if my electronics works. We got power. Put this down now. We got sonar. We got everything working. So electronics check is good. Rods are out. Comfortable. Ish. Think my paddle's about right. Let's see how we can do here. Alright, so so far I've been noticing I can reasonably paddle at about two and a half miles an hour without having too much trouble. This paddle I got is definitely nice and lightweight. It's pretty comfortable. I mean, nothing's going to beat the Hobie I'm used to as far as uh, just being out on the water. I mean, that thing was so comfortable. But speaking of being comfortable, uh, this seat is worth the extra weight so far from what i can tell anyway i think i'm gonna paddle a mile or so down this down this lake seeing as how it's not so nice out um i wish i had my waypoints for my my kayak that i had but i kind of went lightweight and cheap went with this garmin um that is just a small little 
you know, it's just a small little uh, four inch screen. It doesn't have the capacity to take a card. So all of my waypoints that I have from, you know, my kayak fishing days, can't use. So um, I've got this uh, kind of scanning right now, building a map. But, you know, it's only going to get you so far. So unfortunately, you know, that's the only issue with uh, my fishing setup right now is it's really not geared for, you know, what I'm used to with my tournament fishing setup in my kayak, my Hobie. But I sold that to get this, and I think this will still get me on, on fish if I want it, but it'll also get me up into the 80K, which is where I want to go. So, we'll see. I'm going to paddle for a little while, and I'll let you guys know how this goes. Um, just my initial impressions of the canoe um, and my fishing setup. But I'm going to canoe down, see if I can't, I don't know, maybe wet a line, see if I can't get something. Oh, well, I think I got one. Was not expecting it. Ooh. Oh, it's a big old snake. Look at this snake. Oh. <laughs> see if I can land this guy. Oh, this snake. It's huge. This, this thing's huge. Relax, dude. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Pretty good size. Definitely, oh, at least the length of the boat, or the width of the boat, so probably about 30. Not bad. Let's let it go. I might have something. Uh. Let's see what we got here. Yep, I got something. It's a good one. Oh, it's coming up. Oh man, look at this monster. Holy cow! Let's see if I can turn them. Oh, it's a smallie. Oh, it's a beautiful smallie. Oh, man. What a beauty. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. Look at that smallie. Oh, man. Look at him. That's a big boy right there. All right, let's get him back in the water. Yeah, so the nice thing is I'm trying to figure out how this whole trolling thing works because normally I am casting, reeling it in, blah, blah, blah. And on that one, I was videotaping kind of the action of this, uh, of my rod as it was going through, just to review it later, see if, uh, see if I had the right action. It looked good. And uh, anyway, all of a sudden I just see that thing bend. <laughs> I'm like, oh, all right, we got it. All right, I might, I might stay out here and fish a little bit. I mean, I was only going to come out for an hour, maybe an hour and a half, but fish are biting, so maybe I'll actually try fishing. <laughs> That's just kind of, just kind of checking out my gear, making sure things work. But all right, well, I gotta say, I've uh, I've had my lure snag up on some stuff. I've had it pick up some heavy things, and I've been cranking on it. And, you know, I have braid on my line that goes to mono, and uh, it hasn't broken yet. I gotta be snagged up on something again. No way this is a fish, but I am reefing on this thing. So, I'm pretty happy with my, with my knots. I haven't had to tie new FG knots on my poles in a while because 
Um, I even had to switch out my braid. I'm pretty happy with my FG knots. <laughs> they've been they've been tested today. <laughs> so I've been out here about an hour and a half to two hours now, and uh, caught two fish. I was only fishing for about I don't know half that time, if that, and uh, did pretty good. So it's about time to head back. My wife. She wants to go uh, go for her run, and uh, somebody's got to be back to watch the boys for her to do that. So I told her I'd be back at a decent time. Plenty of sunlight left, so it's not like I'm in a hurry, but I think it's time for me to start paddling back the other end of this lake. I made my way down a good mile or two, so won't be long, and I'll be back at the truck. I don't know, bring you back if something else happens otherwise I'll see you at the truck give you kind of my initial impressions all right guys made it back so got everything uh, up here waiting to get torn down and put back in the truck but wanted to go through a few things uh, the one thing I got to say is this was uh, actually better at fishing than I thought it was gonna be pretty happy with it that being said it's definitely not my Hobie kayak. I am going to miss that pedal drive. I'm going to miss being able to stand up. But uh, it gets me out on the water, and I can't have a uh, you know three thousand dollar kayak and a three thousand dollar canoe plus. Um, so uh, I sold my kayak to a friend, used the money to get a canoe. So. I can go up into the uh, Adirondacks, go into those small ponds. So the sacrifice is the fishing locally where I'm just going out for fun fishing. Um, but what I get is being able to get into some of those uh, some those remote ponds up in the Adirondacks. So we'll see how that goes. But other than that, everything fished well out of it. You know, it's uh, it's good. I can, I can do everything that I want to do. Um, and then the other thing I noticed is, so this is the other thing. I have found that this is a little bit busy of a setup. Um, you know, my fish finder, oh, oh, good thing that thing kicked up. I actually, I actually forgot about my transducer. Ooh. But, yeah, it's a little bit busy. When I need to get my, uh, my net, it's tough to get that through this little slot right here and uh, you know I was able to figure out how to get the camera kind of set up on there where both the front and uh, rear facing camera was getting a good shot but um, you know this kind of gets in the way a little bit um, I don't know it's just busy but I don't think you'll have a perfect setup there's just not enough real estate not enough room on this uh, on this boat to really spread things out which was to be expected so other than that it it paddled great um this paddle that i got up here this bending branches paddle was perfect really really happy with it i wanted something wood um but ultra light basically i wanted the aesthetics of the wood and i wanted the buoyancy of the wood and i wanted the fact that the wood doesn't bend but i didn't want this heavy paddle and this thing is excellent so I'll have to do a review on that once I once I use it long enough to feel confident in what I have to say all right guys so that's this um, I do want to show you kind of what what I have for my fishing equipment that will normally go in there when I go out you know this was a test so I really didn't bring my fishing gear other than just what I'd bring out into the backcountry but I've got a lot more fishing gear so uh, Stay tuned when I get home, I'll show you that real quick. All right guys, I just got home, grabbed my crate and threw it in here just to show you guys this, but this is my Hobie H crate that I used uh, on my Hobie kayak and I actually kept the H crate uh, because I wanted to have the ability to add things like this on here um, and have a crate to hold all my, all my rods and reels. So it fits in there pretty good. Uh, yes, you can kind of tie it down still. Just go around the thwart like this and then hook it onto itself. And that's one way to uh, tie it to your, your canoe. 
so that way you don't lose all your gear if you flip. And what's nice is this thing is big enough for all my soft plastics, you know, and you can actually get quite a bit of gear in there. So I'm able to uh, obviously pack a lot more when I'm not going canoe camping. So that, that'll be my fishing setup for when I'm not canoe camping. All right, guys, so that's it. That is the uh, the canoe uh, first run. So thanks for watching the video. Hopefully somebody found it useful in some way. I know I did. Um, real happy I went out there and got that done. So that way I got some confidence going up to the Adirondacks. Uh, you know, it being a solo trip, being in the winter, well not winter, but um, right after the ice thaws. Uh, those ice out, ice out temps uh, in the Adirondacks, although it's beautiful out here right now, once you get up into those mountains, it gets pretty cold. So uh, I wanted to have some confidence, and the canoe performed excellent. Paddle worked great, and my fishing gear worked out well. And uh, on top of all that, it seems like it'll work for my, uh, my bigger lakes here around where I live for me to get out there if I'm real desperate to uh, to go out solo and uh, and fish out of the canoe. So, thanks guys. See ya.